So, as we enter a new year, it's time for my annual video looking at Vita games coming out in the coming year. There isn't a huge amount of upcoming releases announced, which is a shame but not completely surprising. Still, we do have some decent looking games to look forward to. I do worry that some may get cancelled, given everything Sony has done to impede the Vita store this year. I wouldn't blame devs for cancelling their games, but I really hope they don't. So here are 5 upcoming Vita games that I'm really looking forward to personally. Number 5. Russian Subway Dogs I've been talking about this game for years, but the developer has assured me recently that it's still coming to the Vita, which is great. It's a game where you play as dogs in Moscow's subway system, trying to survive by stealing food and killing random enemies like beers. I played it at PSX a few years ago, and it's so much fun. I hope we won't be waiting too long for this one. Number 4. Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story. This horror adventure game set in the future looks great and it seems really interesting and unique. Reviews of the PC version did complain about bugs, but hopefully that will all be sorted by the time the Vita version comes out in early 21. It's also getting a physical release which I backed through the Kickstarter and should be available from PlayAsia. Number 3. Laser. Another future cyberpunk themed game. Laser is a platformer with an emphasis on verticality. The use of ropes and cloth physics to travel up looks great. I played the demo on Steam and it's really fun. I'm looking forward to playing the full game on Vita. Number 2. Habroxia 2. I'm a big fan of Habroxia 1. I thought it was a really fun space shooter with some nice variety in the core game, extra game modes to keep me playing longer, and a very fair platinum. I'm really looking forward to Herbroxia 2, and even if it's just more of the same, I'll be happy with that. Number 1. Heartforth Alicia I played this Metroidvania back in 2016 at PSX. It's crazy that we're still waiting for it. I loved the graphics and the gameplay then. I assumed for a long time that it was cancelled on Vita, but a recent post on their YouTube channel showed that it's still coming to the Vita. I really hope that's the case, because given this will be one of the last games on the system, I think this will be an awesome way to end the Vita's run. So guys, that's my list. There are other games coming out like Aqua Kitty 2 looks pretty cool and sometimes you, the publisher, tease that they've got some Vita reveals coming soon to announce. Let me know in the comments which Vita games are you looking forward to in 2021. And as always, thanks for watching.